How can meaningful partnerships be built and maintained? Partnerships take time to establish and effort to maintain. Often, a relationship starts with an instructor who has a connection with a local organization or possibly the connection is coordinated through the institution. When you begin discussions of how students might engage with a community partner or employer's needs and begin to do an assessment, you may often find that there are other opportunities to collaborate. The potential for new research projects, volunteer opportunities, or other community projects that could engage students may be revealed, additional opportunities that could help strengthen the relationship. Therefore, thinking about being open to a continuum of community engagement can help foster strong, holistic, mutually beneficial partnerships. Students involved in meaningful community-engaged projects will say that the learning is highly impactful and that hands-on experiences help to bring theory to life. So she's been our key partner. She's at a senior leadership level at the, at the Niagara Health. And with that, she's able to really kind of rally her staff to say, you know, what's a potential project that the students could work on? So having somebody that's a real key leader that then works with her managers and directors to identify projects has been what I think a, a key success to this project. From there, that's where it started, but then we've branched out as we've met other people who had similar needs in the community to look at quality related issues. There's a lot of, uh, of things available to us right now that allow for instant gratification or instant success. And experiential learning gives us an opportunity, a platform, and a, and a kind of a rubric for, for that ingrained practice and building that into how we approach any problem or an assignment or a challenge. It's something that encourages repetition, but, but building on that each time. And I, f I feel like that's a really um, important piece, uh, especially given the uh, like I said, the, the tendency to, to want to have that immediacy or instant gratification in terms of our, our success. Those deeper achievements, those more meaningful achievements are the ones that will, will come through that uh, long committed process. It's kind of um, intimately connected and I think that's the beauty of what you could think of as a strategy in experiential learning where you're going to connect to other community resources, uh, where you can connect to the resources in the community that really are the engines of excellence in what they do, that's going to be sort of the magic thread to tie pedagogy intimately to knowledge, and in this case the knowledge we're talking about is curatorial knowledge, exhibition knowledge, and art making.